What's up everyone, I'm Aaron. I'm the Director of Photography for Four Leagues Media and today I'm going to show you how to do a little quick disconnect for your video monitor. I'm putting together a new rig for our group. I wanted to figure out how to be able to quickly remove the monitor from our uh, tripod rig and move it over to our gimbal. So we have a two camera setup and I just got the Ninja Atomos Inferno monitor to use and you probably know those aren't cheap so instead of buying two of them because we are on a budget I would like to use the same one for both camera rigs. As you probably know, those articulating arms are not built really well to take off and on easily. It's hard to get them twisted on tight enough so that it's not going to flop over on you in the middle of your shoot. So I started doing some research to see if I could find something that would be a quick disconnect and make it easy to move from camera to camera. Uh, the best I was able to come up with was finding a pictorial tutorial pictorial tutorial. So I decided to take that concept and try it and see if I could make it work with my setup. And since it does seem like it's going to work well, I figured I might as well make a little video tutorial for you guys. What I'm going to show you is a very cheap way to do it compared to those out of the box ones. And there are really only four small pieces that you're going to have to buy and they're readily accessible on Amazon. I'll include the links below in the description. You might have a better way to do this. If so, please let me know in the comments because this is my first go at it. All right, from Cam Vate, there are these two 15 millimeter short rods. And as you can see, they are threaded on each end, which is very important. Also from Cam Vate, we have this uh, 11 inch articulating uh, arm for our monitor. And small rig number 960 is the one that uh, I got to screw onto the bottom of the monitor and small rig 1995 is the one I need for my top handle. Now there is another one that they sell that attaches to a different top handle, so check them out to see which one you need, and a little bit of red Loctite is all we're gonna need. Starting with the articulating arm, I'm going to unscrew all of this hardware that comes with it because it will be in the way and we don't need it. Okay, let's screw this so that we just have the two threaded bolts on both sides because we are going to take these rods and attach them on here. Uh, just screw them on first to make sure you have the right size before we put our Loctite on here because uh, you don't want to get the wrong ones or find out that you have the wrong ones after this step. So we're just going to take our red Loctite which helps uh, lock it on and after this dries it's going to be very difficult to get these off. So. Thread that all the way on, as tight as it goes. Then you can do the other side. Just giving it a liberal amount of this stuff. Screw our other end on. Okay. Those are on there tight now. I'm gonna let these dry for a couple hours before I start putting any uh, weight on them just to let it cure. All right, now for your monitor, I happen to be using the Atomos Ninja Inferno, but this will work with any monitor that has a quarter inch Just wanna get this really tight on the bottom of this so it won't move around. Now, as you can see, I have access to put one end of this through here and lock it down. And the other end is going to go into this, which will be mounted on our handle. This is my rig set up so far. It's still in progress, but coming along nicely. And you can see that I have the small rig top handle here 
Okay, we're gonna put this guy with these two mounting holes on the top, the two mounting holes here on the top. The small rig rod clamp kit comes with these screws and washers and the tool, of course, to tighten them. So with a little Allen wrench, just lock these two down in there. And now we can use this, of course, to tighten down our 15 millimeter rod. So by putting our small rod through the rod clamp on the handle, to our articulating arm into the small rod clamp on your monitor. You now have an articulating arm that you can move anywhere you need and uh, lock it in place here. Let me lock it. Okay, look, no hands. And it is a now a quick disconnect because all I have to do is loosen this right here, slide this out, take it over to my gimbal where I have, we'll have another one of these attached to it somewhere. Slide it in, lock it in place. And no more having to fuss with the little twisty knobs that are a pain in the butt and twisting your monitor all around. My main tripod rig is not finished yet, but once I get it set up how I like it, I'll make another little video tutorial and show you all of the uh, parts I used and how it works together. If you subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell, you'll be notified when that comes out. Thanks everybody, see you next time.